Hello, hello, hello everyone. everyone. Uh, I'm Dimitri. I'm, Dimitri. I'm, I'm the co-founder co of Juru, Juru. and, and um, Juru is basically, basically a digital, a digital identity, identity, identity platform, platform, platform that that's tries, tries to put the, the consumer, consumer back, back in, in uh, full, uh, full control, control of his personal, personal data. data. So, so um, maybe, maybe what the, 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 the use case I always, always use is, is um, if has has anyone, anyone ever used Uber? Uber? Um, um, if, so, if so, Uber knows, Uber knows a whole lot about, about you. Um, um, they, they know who you are. They know where you are. They know Take, take your, your cab, cab ride, ride, they know they where you get, get off, off. Um, um, they know they your know reputation, reputation both, both as a driver, driver and, and as a passenger. passenger. They also, they also know, know your, your link credit, credit card information. information. Um, and, 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 and the question, the question should, should be, be do, I do I want Uber, Uber to, have to have all this information? Because, because they can they do can a lot of things, things on top of that, that they can, can predict where you will take your next cab, they can actually send people to a closer buy rate, they can see what your spending behavior would be if they know your credit card, so they can do a lot of analysis on top of that and actually influence the way you use Uber. The second question we should ask, can we trust Uber not to sell your data, is your data being used somewhere else, and if so, did you, Did ever, you ever give permission, permission for it? Now, now um, um, the biggest, the biggest problem, problem with Uber is, I think, it was hacked, hacked two years ago, so, so 53 million, million, million accounts, accounts were stolen, I guess. I guess. Um, so all so your, your personal, personal information, your reputation is, 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 is out there, there. Uh, your credit card, card information is out there, and, and everything, everything is uh, for sale. For sale. So, so the question, question really rises, rises can, can, can we still trust Uber? Uber? Can, we can we still trust, trust um, any digital, digital service, service um, as, it as it is being offered today? Offered today? Because, because as, as um, was explained, was explained in, the in the previous present 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 presentation, presentation um, um, trust, trust is really important. important. Trust, trust, trust is the, the basic, basic rule we have, we have to, to make our economy, economy work. work. If we if look, we look at, at um, let's go back 500 years, we have a local economy, and everything was very transparent. Want to, want to sell, sell something, something and, and if the counterparty, if the counterparty didn't, didn't pay up immediately, immediately we, would we would have a have reputation, reputation problem, but everyone, but everyone in the village, village would know, know this would, this be, would the be the case, so the next, the next time business, business would not reoccur. Would reoccur. When, we, when start we start building, building um, a, a more global, global business scheme, scheme where, we where we start trading, trading between, between Europe, Europe and China, China we, need we need a way to bridge, bridge that trust, and this is, I think, where institutions came into play, like national banks, banks in general. That, that bridge, bridge trust, trust for, us. for us. So, so obviously, obviously, a producer in China, China will never ship, ship a container to Belgium, Belgium if he doesn't, he doesn't know he's getting paint. paint. And, obviously and obviously, I will, I will not pay for a container, container that, that I haven't received, received yet. So, so in between, between we, start we start building uh, bridges, bridges of trust, of trust that, that, that make, make it easier, easier to uh, do trade, trade which, which is, in this case, letter of credit. But I but think, I think so, so, if, if we, we look, look at economy, economy everything, everything starts, starts with identity. identity. If you look, if you look at, at the deed of, of a house, if you want, if you want to buy a house, a house um, um, most, most of the time, time it's, a, it's a really long contract, contract and, it and it takes you 80% um, of the contract, contract is about identifying, identifying the parties, parties. It's, about it's about identifying the seller, seller identifying, identifying the buyer, identifying the good that's going to be sold, and there's a really small part saying the good is transferred. Now the, now current, the current system, system is broken. Is broken. Um, one of the one main, of the main reasons, reasons I started start working on Juru, Juru is, is almost, almost two years, years ago when we were uh, asked on this project. project um, my, my mother died, died and, and at the same, same time, time I moved, moved to a new house. house. And, and I, have have I have to go, to, go to, the to the notary's office, office uh, two, two times, times in, in one week, week time. time. And if, if I, want I want to go to, go to the notary's, notary's office, office, I have, I have to prove that, that I am me. me. So um, what, what they, they need in, in Belgium, we have this fancy digital identity, identity card that, 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 that um, makes it really, really easy to identify, to identify yourself, yourself, except, except when, when it's for official, official business, business. Then, then you need to have, have it printed, printed out, out and, 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 and down, down hall needs to put a, a stamp, stamp on it to approve that it's really you that they have seen. So I use this printed out version to go to the notary. Two days, Two days later, later I, had I had to go, go back, back but, but I couldn't, I couldn't use, use the same paper. paper. I, had I had to go back, back to, the to the town hall to get another copy, copy of my identity, identity card, card, which I had with me. me. So, so whenever, whenever you, you need to prove who you, you are, are uh, basically you cannot. You, 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 you need, need a lot, lot of information because, because all, all the parties have parts of your information. The government has a part of your information. Um, large, large telcos, telcos have, have, have a lot of official, official information about you. you. The hospital has a lot of information about you. And, and what, what we, are we are trying, trying to build, build is um, a, way a way that you can, can prove yourself, yourself um, whenever, whenever you want to prove it's you. you. In a, in very, a very 
privacy minded, minded way. way. So, so if, if we, we look, look at actually medicine, medicine um, life, life is short, short have fair. fair. Um, um, also, also 53, 53 million members, um, 52, 52 of them, them uh, are male, male I think. think. Um, so, so whenever, whenever I go, I go on national medicine, medicine, what I what don't, don't want to say is my name is Dimitri, Dimitri I'm, I'm happily married, married, I have three kids, kids and uh, I, live, I, live I live in Antwerp. Antwerp. Um, um, what, what I might, might want to say is uh, my, my name is John Doe. Doe. I cannot, I cannot prove, prove this, but I'm, I'm over 18, 18 I'm, younger I'm younger than 40, 40 and, and I don't, I don't have criminal record, record as a sex, sex offender. Maybe, Maybe this could be valid, valid points that, that I want to share about, about my real information. information. Now, now, obviously, obviously also, also Ashley Ashley Madison, Madison, even, even if you create, create your, your account, account being John Doe, uh, you, you have to pay, pay somehow. somehow. Um, and, 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 and so, so they, they also, also have your credit, credit card information. The good thing, Ashley Madison was also hacked, so... Um, a, lot a lot of credit, credit card, card information is available, available for, for those who want to buy it. I think it's around $5,000 if you want to have you want the, the database. database. So what so we what said is, okay, okay we, need, we, need we need to change, change the, way the way the system, the system works. works. Uh, uh, we, need we need to be able, able to identify, identify ourselves, ourselves when we want to and the way we want to do it. So the parties I mentioned before, the government, the police, banks, medical, hospitals, universities, they should, they should all run, run nodes, nodes of a blockchain, blockchain that's that's that, that are interconnected, and, and they, should they should still hold the data, the data that, that they hold today, today but, but the control, control of, of how it's, how it's being managed, managed should be transferred to, 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 to the individual. individual. Um, um, so that so you that can you share, share what you want whenever you want, and you can prove that it's true. true. Now, now, the way the it way works, it's um, um, the framework, framework is, is basically called, called uh, all all the same, same all over the world. It's self-sovereign identity, where we where try, we try to, move to move um, control, control of identity, identity back to the hands, hands of the individual. individual. So it so works. It, works um, um, it starts with a claim. With a claim. Um, um, it says, it says um, my, my name is Dimitri, Dimitri. my blood type is O negative, I have a master's degree in art, I have a driver's license B, that's not revoked. Um, um, next, next thing, thing we, can we can do is, uh, these, uh, these are all, are all attributes, attributes of my identity. identity. So, so um, the next the thing, thing we can do is we can link proof, proof to these attributes. attributes. I can say, uh, say uh, this, uh, is this is a copy of my uh, passport, this is a copy of my driver's license, this is my medical, medical file, file, this, this is my access of my blood type. So negative, this is my diploma, I've graduated from St. Lucas. So this is proof that I can link to my claim. The next the thing next we thing do is we, do is we share, share this proof and this claim with the third, third party, and the third, and the third party, party can say, okay, okay I've matched, matched the proof, the proof. And, and the claim, the claim. And, and I provide, provide an attestation, attestation saying, saying uh, the, claim uh, the claim is actually, actually true. true. So we start, so we start building, building an identity, an identity that, that um, becomes, becomes stronger, stronger the, long, the, long, the longer you use, use it. Um, every, every time, time someone, someone attests, attests my identity, identity every, time every time I buy a new loyalty card, every time I get a new bank card or a new credit card, um, um, every, time every time I get pulled, get pulled over because, because I'm drunk, drunk someone is verifying, verifying my identity, 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 identity actually, actually becomes, becomes stronger, stronger uh, the, uh, more the more I use, I use it. Um, so, so when we when share, share our, our claims, claims with third parties, third parties we, can we can do so, do so in a very, very granular, granular way. way. I, I can say, um, I, want I want to share my data, data with, with the Tomorrowland Tomorrow Festival, Festival, but I only, I only want to share uh, my first name and my last name, not my address, for example. Now the, now way, the way it works, works is when, when I, I as, as a consumer, consumer of the of identity uh, want, uh, to, want verify to verify how valid, valid it is, I can, I can define the level, level of trust that I require. I require. So, so I can I say, say, for example, if I'm, uh, if I'm if a web, I'm a web shop, shop and I want, and I want to uh, use you to, to log in, in, I can say I, can say I, I want access to your delivery address, your first name, your last name, and you can claim whatever you want. I don't need any attestations because if you, if pay, you me pay me money, money to send you send goods, goods, I, I basically, basically assume, assume that the address, address you are providing me is, is actually the one that's, that's true. true. Um, but, but maybe in case when I'm, uh, when I'm opening, opening a bank, bank account, account, a bank, bank is regulated market, 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 so, so it, has it has to comply to KYC, KYC regulations. regulations. So, so they, they could say, say you, can you can open, open up a bank, bank account, account at 3 a.m. on a Sunday night. Um, and basically the only attestation we need is Facebook saying it's actually you. But if you want to link a debit card or a spending card, card or a or credit, credit card, card to it, to it maybe, maybe we need, need a, a, um, an additional attestation saying, for example, your Belgium EID has to be linked to your identity and they have to attest that your claims are true. Or um, if you want to connect your business, maybe one of the other three major Belgian banks should say, um, we've checked this business and it actually belongs to Dimitri, so he can make payments. So you can define the trust you require on a user basis, 
what this does mean essentially is we can cover uh, two things, identity fraud and identity theft. So suppose uh, someone would pretend to be me, they could never have the same track record saying all these entry points because everything underneath is being written to a blockchain. All the so We don't write data to the blockchain, we only write hashes of the data to the blockchain. And everything is timestamped. So should a new individual pretend to be me, uh, they can never have the same history that I uh, have recorded previously. Um, now this is all really fun uh, to do for one identity, but obviously uh, the real world is a lot more complicated than, than one person. So we started working on a proof of concept um, last year in the city of Antwerp, where um, we tried to bootstrap the birth of a child on a blockchain. How would you actually create an identity the, the second it's, it's born? So the way it starts is uh, the mother um, gets a child in the hospital, she creates the child on the blockchain, and a legal representative of the, block, um, of the hospital, being um, the gynecologist most of the time, they will provide an attestation saying, okay, the relationship between the mother and the kid, I will provide an attestation that it's true. Next, the mother can add the father to uh, the same child as a second representative. The father, um, if he's not married to the mother, he has to give his consent. If he is, he's given it away a long time ago. Um, and then the father can basically change the first name and the last name and say, okay, I will share this information with the town hall. Um, the town hall can then say, okay, I see uh, a new identity has been created. Uh, first name Dimitri, last name Verhelst. We will create a birth certificate saying exactly that. We accept this information because we know that the gynecologist is a real person and we trust him. So this is why we trust the bootstrapping and this is why we provide a birth certificate. So from that point in time, I have my own identity wallet as a kid. Um, whenever I get vaccinations for viruses, whenever I travel abroad, whenever I break my arm, um, it will be recorded to my own uh, personal identity wallet. So when I turn 18 or whenever I get the right to manage my own identity, the um, mandates other people have over me are automatically revoked and I get the entire history up until the date where I can actually start using it. The big plus, I think, um, I'm, I'm a very sloppy guy. People that know me will uh, attest to that, I think. It's an attribute of my identity. Um, I've lost my diploma. I have no idea if um, I ever had a tetanus vaccination. I'm, I'm and a, a, a wallet like this would actually help me a lot. Now we can do this for people. Obviously we can also do this for companies. So I can say I create a new company. Um, the company is called Samsung. I can enter the uh, RPR registry and for example, the global legislation um, identifier can provide attestations saying Samsung is a real company, the VAT number is real, but Dimitri is not authorized to do anything on behalf of Samsung, so we will not accept this new legal entity. If I were to create Juru, saying it's um, the name is Juru, the, the VAT number, um, the KBO, the, the Belgian uh, issuing authority, can say, okay, this company is actually real, the VAT number is real, Dimitri is a UBO, and I can start adding other UBOs to, uh, to the same corporate identity. I can say, Yo is also a shareholder, I can say the board of director constitutes of all these people, and basically we can start bootstrapping a company. Now the real uh, cool thing about this model is we can use this to onboard our customers without them giving um, consent explicitly. I can just say, as a company, I start using Juru to create my personal uh, data vault. And I can give a login to the users. I can link them to the services I'm offering, saying, um, this. I have, for example, I have a web shop. I have 7,000 customers. I'm using Juru right now to store uh, their personal information. I provide a link on the website saying manage your own um, account and they can say I revoke access. So they claim their own identity wallet, my mandate uh, is revoked and they can share the information they want on a very uh, natural way. The last part we do is identifying objects. 
Um, so why is it in there? I think it was explained previously as well. We, we are getting to smart cars. We are getting uh, smart refrigerators. So all of these things have to be identifiable in order to use them in a contract situation. So what I would like to do is um, I would like to get, for example, the Deleuze Group or Albert Hen to use our platform saying, I have a smart refrigerator. Uh, it's a Samsung. I can share the content of my refrigerator with you. I can prove that it's my refrigerator because I have an invoice from uh, the Media Markt saying I've actually bought it. I can then share my personal uh, calendar information and I can share my allergies from my medical file, for example. Now, the next time I go online and I want to uh, shop for the weekend, um, a, s a smart shopping assistant could say, um, I want to have access to all of these different things of all of these uh, linked identities. I, I give my consent and they can say, OK, this weekend there's 20 people coming over. I know seven of them. They've all given consent to see their, uh, that I can see their food allergies. I can see they're all vegetarian, so maybe you shouldn't throw a barbecue, but um, I'll provide some vegetables. The big difference, I think today it's also happening, but they are using Google, they are using big data, they're doing a lot of um, acquiring your personal data without actually asking you uh, if you give consent. Using this platform, you could actually say, I don't want you to have my data, but if I do give my data, maybe I can get a $5 discount. Um, so we currently have a demo online uh, on our website. It allows you to create an account to set your personal data. You can create some services and people can connect to your services and then you can see their personal data. If they stop sharing their data, you no longer have access. So it's a, it's a really short use case that shows how we give consent and how we revoke it. Um, maybe I think the most interesting part about blockchain, because I think it's about solving uh, business problems. And the big benefit of blockchain technology is that we create a system that's without intermediaries, so we can exchange value in a direct way. So. Um, the way we do it is we have a nonprofit organization that's actually uh, running the nodes of the blockchain. It's also where the identity data is being stored and where, where we are storing uh, binary assets. Then we have a proprietary API with, with some tooling, for example, plugins for SAP, plugins for uh, e-commerce marketplaces, where we can actually say no longer store personal data on your website, store it with Juru and you will no longer be liable for data breaches. We will take this liability upon us. If you participate in the nonprofit part, you will also get the uh, opportunity to provide attestations and to sell those attestations to third parties. Where are we today? Um, so for the city of Antwerp, our technology was chosen to solve their GDPR issues. So um, it really focuses a lot on the data subject rights, where we say the user should be in control, he should have transparency, he should have data portability. Um, we have implemented it uh, starting in December. Uh, right now it's running in pilot. Um, there's 700,000 users connected. And so far we're the fastest identity provisioning system um, they've ever used. The second use case we've built on top of that is um, a business role uh, engine where we actually sh say an IT team, for example, in a, in a large corporate shouldn't be managing all permissions, shouldn't be managing all rights. The individuals should have ways to do it if they, for in, in a large part, they should be able to create their own teams. Um, this is also why we use the, the mandates engine I've shown before to create relationships between identities. So a team is a type of an identity. What we want to build is manbedrijf.be um, or mycompany.com. Um, and it will focus on corporate mandating. So saying, for example, um, this is the board of directors. This is the C-level of a company. Um, these people are authorized to make payments. For example, the CFO is authorized to make all payments in a company. Obviously, accounts receivable has a smaller set of rights and they cannot do the same thing. So if they make a call to my identity wallet, they can actually ask, um, 
is Dimitri allowed to make this payment of 135,000 euros to this company? And the API can say, no, he's not, because the entire mandates are uh, automated. So that's, uh, that's it. Thank you for listening. <coughs> if there's any questions, I'll gladly take them. Um, well, no, for us, um, so biometrics, for example, is a way of um, authorizing, uh, so it's an authentication layer. We are basically doing the provisioning, it's, it's one layer below that, and it's up to the service that implements the identity provisioning to provide a way to securely link to your identity. So, for example, um, the city of Antwerp has the A profile, and they have a way of linking the A profile to the individual that they know is a citizen of Antwerp. And what we do is we provide the attributes that are linked according to them to that login token. Um, what we can facilitate is we can link different login tokens. So we can say it's me, for example, is a way to authenticate who you are. Um, and and your banking token, your KBC uh, sign app, is also a way to identify who you are. So if you can log into your Juru identity using It's Me, and you can log into your Juru identity using your, uh, your other authentication device, we can link those two, and in the future, maybe you could authenticate whatever way you want, um, because, because you're basically you're creating a web of trust of, of trusted logins. Is, does it answer your question? or? It's it's a hard thing to explain, but yeah. Yeah. Yes. So if, 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 you have, um, if you have legal requirements to, to maintain the data, that's up to the web shop to make a copy of the data. So what our API does is if the user uh, revokes his consent, um, we will send a push notification to all the connected services or, or in this case to the connected service saying this person no longer gives consent to these and these and these attributes. But if you have legal grounds to actually do keep a copy of the data, we will send you one last time the value so you can make a copy at that time. Okay, thank you.